Okay, so today I wanted to look at exploded views and different ways that we can export it. So what I've done here is got the flashlight out and I've created a, an exploded view. I'm going to choose explode. As we know, we can right click on the exploded view, choose animate collapse, and it will animate it at four seconds, which is the regular time. You can do it slow it down to eight seconds, slow it or speed up to two seconds. But let's say we wanted more control or we wanted to adjust the how fast or slow my parts collapse. The way we can do this is by using the motion study. So I'm going to switch from model, the model tab to motion study. Oops. And what I'm going to do is just choose animation wizard. I'm going to delete the existing paths here. And I'm going to choose explode. Make sure you will go collapse. We'll show how to put it together. I'll hit next. I'm going to say, so now I can choose as long as I want my animation to be. So we'll say 15 seconds. And I want it to start at 0 seconds. Hit finish. What you can see is it does, is it creates an animation from 0 to 15 seconds. So if I hit play, you can see that it's animating through. The reason why it's flashing is it's trying to do the, um, it's trying to add the rendering technique to it right now in real view. And you can see there we go. Now if I wanted to make my animation longer, all I'd have to do is right click on this top level and create a longer time. Also, I can jump around on my time bar. We could find, say, this part. We'll find it down here now, on our design tree. Oops. Where are you? We'll choose the back here. That's near the top. So it's all in the base here, that's why I'm not finding it. And we have the battery cover. So now that we can find it, what we can do is stretch out when it starts and finishes so we can make certain parts longer and certain parts slower so to bring more uh, emphasis to the parts that are important. Also, when we're done, we can just choose Save Animation, and we give our options here. Now we can actually control the screen size. So we could use a 1080p or 720p setup. Um, what we could also use, instead of using the SolidWorks, we could use Photo View to render it out to give ourselves a more realistic animation. So that's just how we can take our exploded views and make it a bit better using the motion study and animation.